uh, deck tech. Today we have, um, I call it, I mean, it's an Obzon deck. Call it Onyx Ultimatum because Onyx is plus effect, feeds Eerie Ultimatum, but it is Obzon Ultimatum. Um, I wanted to try a different ver. you know, obviously I'm not, don't want to be playing the Soul Tie deck, so I wanted to try something different that is completely different than the current meta. So I figured let's try to abuse Onyx with Ultimatum, as well as having some of the newer cards like Catalyst, Vanishing Verse, um, Kaya from Kaldheim, you know, um, Bail, Baleful Mastery, stuff like that. And then we're main decking, you know, stuff that are good against certain decks. But yeah, I wanted to try something different, you know. Don't want to be playing the same old uh, Soul Tire Ultimatum deck and whatnot. So I figured let's try this deck out and see how it goes, you know. But before we go into the quick intro, um, if you hopefully... I just want to thank everyone who's been supporting me. And if you're new to the channel, hopefully by the end of the time you're watching, I get you to subscribe. Um, but yeah, check, uh, stay tuned to the gameplay after this intro. And then we're going to have a cyborg guide after that. So stay tuned. Always check the description of the video. It has the deck list, arena port, and um, PC port. Um, but yeah, let's go into the cyborg guide. Stay tuned for the gameplay and the cyborg guide at the end of the video. All right, so my removal package here, cheap removal package, Eliminate, Heartless Act, and Vanishing Verse. I'm actually liking Vanishing Verse a lot. I mean, against everything but Ultimatum, this card's great. Mono Red, Mono White, you know, stuff like that. It exiles pretty much anything. Gruel Adventures, it just exiles so many cards. So my removal package, I wanted to do a 2-2-4 two, two, split here. Um, I have three Wolf Willow Havens just to give me a little ramp in case I need it. Worst case scenario, I, then I could sack and make a 2-2. Two, two um since we're a doom foretold deck and we're an obzon i need permanence and omen the sun fits perfectly there it per helps me against aggro decks by creating one ones and it gains me life callus of the blood mage and i think this card is actually kind of a sleeper card it has three good effects against aggro decks you create a one one and then when the creature dies you gain a life against control decks you use the draw card lose a life aspect and then against graveyard decks either like titan's nest you can exile their graveyard against rogues you can exile your own graveyard against cycling exile their graveyard i think this card is a sleeper especially with yorion you can blink them and keep reusing them so i wanted to try him out and see how he would work you know what i mean i think it's a sleeper card i think it's a very solid card obviously it's being overshadowed by the adventure block at the moment but once that rotates i think this card might see a little more plays because like i said it has three relevant effects so i wanted to try them out as a two of three nightmares um great again good card for doom foretold because you can use the first two effects and then you can just sack it with doom foretold it destroys their creature i mainly wanted to see what they have in their hand i want the card information one predation is another uh, uh, card information land effect so i put that three treacherous blessings my main draw power i only wanted three don't want four too much two is usually a little too less so i wanted to you know i went in the middle with three there two necromantia so i want i main decking two of these because there's just ultimatum decks are too rampant in the format and if i game one if i get this and call out their ultimatum it's probably game over for them they can't keep up against an eerie ultimatum so that's why i have two in the main deck and i have enough removal that aggro sh this shouldn't affect me against aggro decks you know i have four eight um 11 uh 12 was that 15 uh, another four, another three, another two. So it shouldn't affect me too much against aggro decks. One Baleful Mastery. I like the uh, being able to pay only two mana in case in exiles. Obviously, the draw drawback is they draw a card. So that's why I'm trying only one. My board wipe is three extinction events. Um, I'm not running any Shadows Verdict. I have one on the sideboard, but I'm not running in the main deck. I just I think I'd rather have a four mana cost than a five mana cost at the moment. Obviously, Shadows Verdict is very amazing against a lot of other decks. So, but it's give or take. Four Doom Foretolds is a Doom deck. Um, three Binding of the Gods, um, great card, ramps you, destroys stuff. Pelucanos is there kind of for the escape mechanic so that you can have something at least. And it's a creature against aggro decks, it's 6-6. Six, six. Two Nightmare, I mean Conqueror's Death because the curve is currently lower in the format with Cycling, Rogues. Um, so I don't want too many of these because then they can become dead cards. 
Um, two Elder Gargaroths, good against aggro decks. I've put in two in there for the aggro matchups. Draw a card, create bodies. One Yorion and one Yorion. So two Yorion, so I can blink my cards. I'm trying out Kaya to see how it works. Obviously, Kaya is great with Yorion because it dies, creates a 1 1, puts Yorion back into your hand. Then you can re blink everything. So I want to give it a try. Obviously, and also the emblem. I do play legendary cards, you know, Onyx, Kaya, Yorion, you know, um, Palucano. So I play legendary cards. So there's possibility of bringing stuff back. I'm trying out obviously two Onyx because it helps Eerie Ultimatum and it's a great card already. Magecraft ability is good. Destroys their creature, the emblem. I mean, they lose either 21 life or discard seven cards or something like that. One area, uh, Mario is called two Eerie Ultimatum because it synergizes with the deck. The lands are pretty basic, nothing really, you know, about the lands. And then the cyborg guide, I'll get, um, check out the cyborg guide and I will explain the cyborg guide there. But yep, this is the deck. Now let's go into the uh, matches and see how we do. Looks at the top three cards, right? Puts one of them into your hand and the other two into the graveyard, which ends up feeding the eerie ultimatum because it brings back all your cards from your discard pile. So, or all your permanents, I should say. From your discard pile so that's why i call it onyx ultimatum but you I mean you can just call it eerie ultimatum if you want obzon doom whatever you know whatever floats your boat all right uh <laughs> we have a really bad hand against Alorus. i have to mulligan this hand i mean i have lands but he's playing laura so he's playing rogues so we're clearly playing against rogues I have no removal in the main, in my hand. I mean, Pelucanos is great and all, but I don't have also the six mana to cast it back from the graveyard, so we're taking a mulligan. Well, it just got worse, but okay. It got so much worse. Oh, man. All right. Look, not looking good for us game one. Guess we have to try something. Oh, what the? He threw me off. What is he playing? All right, we'll play this first, because then we can use this, reveal this, to play Wolf of Heaven. Well, we got baited. We got baited by the Loras. Oh, this is the Jess Guy Cycling deck. Okay. I wasn't expecting this to be here, so that's... All right, that's fair. Submit. I was expecting it to be... Um, well, we have clings on the sideboard, I guess. I was expecting it to be rogues with Loris in best of three. Honestly, I was expecting it to be rogues. But, all right. Well, we gotta... Let's see what we could do. Let's see what we could do. We got four nightmares, so if we could draw those, those would be great. So if I put this down, then I can omen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We could play uh, Onyx next turn. That's a turn four Onyx. That's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid turn. But he's going to cycle, create another 2-2, two, two, or another 1-1, one, one, I should say. So we, I mean, we're getting pressured. But a turn four Onyx hopefully wins us the game. Not sure if it will or not, but let's find out. Got to be, I mean, we need Nightmare. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one, though. No, my game crashed. My game crashed. All right. Well, my game crashed. Let's see if I can reopen it. Yep. Close that. Close that. Close the program. Go back and see what happens. That was weird. Game completely crashed there. Hopefully I don't lose the game. I mean, if Arena wants to even open here, let's see. Okay. Don't need this up. Okay, it reopened up. Initialize in audio. All right, we're back in the game. I like that was a lot of time passed though. If I don't get that turn four onyx, all right, resolves. Yep. 
I'll just play this because otherwise it's going to keep asking me and use my timer as well. All right. Uh, I guess we'll grab black. He's doing a lot of damage to us here too. So we cast Onyx. Cast Onyx. We can plus. He can't kill Onyx at the moment. So we're looking for Nightmare so we could exile his graveyard eventually. We have Extinction. There it is. The only other bad problem here is even though we have Nightmare, uh, he has probable cost still in play. So that's something to, to be wary about. So even though we can remove his graveyard, wow, triple improbable cause. This guy drew <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> pretty much right one two three four five six all right well yep swinging swinging oh wow all right he was going for me he's going for me interesting what is this all right so I mean, we get to gain life, though, so I'm not really sure why he did that. Because every time I cast an instant or sorcery spell. All right. I think I take Predation. So let's play. I'm going to play my land first just to be safe. In case he has a random mystical dispute. So we gain two life here. Call out even. I'm going to look at his hand here. And then I'm going to play this the following turn. Because I need to exile his graveyard first. So otherwise he's going to be able to start cycling a bunch like this. I mean, I this is also probably smart. I should have maybe played this so he can't kill Onyx. Because he currently could do... Yeah, he could currently do 6 damage to it. So he's probably just going to kill Onyx. Yeah, I should have played this. Because he's still generating all these tokens. Nope, that was a misplay. Yep. Oh, man, so bad. So bad. Because I still have to deal with all these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight, so we could do... All right, we're taking this. I have to... <sighs> that was a misplay. So that doesn't do anything. So, all right. So what do I need here? I have black, black, black. Yeah, I should have predation his hand to get rid of it. I needed the onyx alive. Um, I have white, white, white. I have green, 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 green. I have black, 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 black. I guess we'll just grab that. I guess I could play treacherous blessing here. Draw cards. All right. This Yorion blinks the stuff away. Blink, blink, blink. I, there's two of his flares are gone, but maybe I was supposed to let the nightmare resolve. Take action. Grab this. There's a Binding of the Gods. That's good. I could play Binding and Doom Foretold, get rid of two of them. And then I can Yorion, Blink, and go from there. All right. All right. So he's just going to go Cycle. Sure. It's going to create more dudes. Yep. We need another, like, Board Wipe effect. He's going to grab Loras. Okay. Can't attack because I just eat one of his guys. See what he has in his hand. What do you got? Cycle? Sure. Results. If that's a Zenith Flare, that would have been hilarious. All right, so let's see how we're doing this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go up to 10 mana here, right? 10 mana. So do this, reveal this. Might as well, right? Um, 10 mana. Or let's play Binding of the Gods, destroy one of the probable causes. 
could play Doom Foretold to take one of the other ones. No attacks. He has to sack one of his improbable causes. And then I have another Yorion I could grab to do this stuff all over again. I'm going to sack the Treacherous Blessing so I can stop taking so much damage. If he plays Loras. Um, Alright, well, let's see. Yep, Loras. Yep. Oh, wow, he could play another Improbable Cause out of the sideboard. Alright. Yep. Yep. Now he's just going to get aggressive. I would get aggressive. Start attacking, buddy. Yep. Look how much you have. I need to draw Extinction Event. I didn't forgot that he could play Improbable Cause, too. All right, I got to give up the Treacherous Blessing here because I can't keep taking the damage from it. Another Yorion. Exile your Graveyard. Grab this. All right, I could kill both improbable causes, but all right, let's see. I wish I would have drew another creature. Would have been nice. Play nightmare kill. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have access to ten mana, eleven mana, three. A eleven. So that's eleven. So I have eleven mana here, huh? If I kill one of his tokens, he'll have five of them. Huh. Okay. I guess I get to kill two of his tokens, right? Because I get to blink Nightmare and kill another token. So we, we play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at his hand. I don't know what it could be, but let's just see what it... Sure. I guess if you could cycle two cards, he can then make more 1-1s. One yeah, okay. Well, he can't do that now. See, so if I attack here, don't think I want to attack. So he's going to upkeep, make more dudes. Destroy Loras with Binding of the Gods. Kill a token. So I keep the old one, right? Okay, so cast. Keep this one. Blink, blink. Actually, you don't need to blink. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, triggers. Let's kill this. It's the Binding of the Gods, the Loras, I guess. Take action. Grab Swamp. And then let's blink. Blink, blink. I'm going to let the keep the Doom Foretold there so that way it can make him sack the Improbable Cause. So make him sack Improbable. He's probably going to cycle this. Unless he draws another cycle, though, it won't matter because he's not drawing two for turn. So unless he drew another card, he could cycle here. He could also just use the effect, I guess. But I need an Omen. Omen would be great, so that we could regain some of my life. Plukanos, Eerie Ultimatum would be awesome. All right, blocking would take three. It only has, what is this, one, two cards in that graveyard, that cycle. All right, it's triggers. Kill this, kill this, and grab a land. Get to Exile's graveyard once again soon. We're going to sack the Omen most likely because we don't... I mean, we could even sack the Haven here. We have a couple of cards we could sack. What you got? Sure. He's looking for Flare. But the problem with Flare would be now he doesn't have enough mana. So I can take it out of his hand with a Nightmare. 
Okay, so I'm going to sack the Wolf of Haven here. Now, because, I mean, this scries me. I, I didn't set the upkeep stop, so that was bad on me. Oh, I did keep it. Okay, activate. I was, I was in time to do it. Nice. Ooh, there we go. Omen gains me life. Draw. Let's grab the last land we can grab. <laughs> Go for blood and target opponent reveals their hand. She's not land from there. Okay, let's see. They both cycle one, so that doesn't matter. Um, play this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So three, six. And I could cast it too. All right, let's do that. We regain some of our life. Let's go to combat. And then, man, this is the, wow, this is a game, huh? This is a game. Let's keep the old one. Blink, blink. That's the problem I'm debating on. Do I blink or I think I have to let him exile his graveyard, right? Because if he draws a flare, we lose the game. If I blink, blink, blink. So blink, 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 blink. Could also just blink this. It comes back, kills a card. You can use it to kill a token. Triggers, look at his hand. One, two, three. It's three non-cycling cards out of eight. So we're taking five. I think I'd just leave the omen, actually. I mean, I think I'd leave the nightmare. Comes back. Triggers. So kill this. Create the dudes. Blank. Blank. One, two, right? That's it. Because this is going to trigger make him discard. Yeah. All right. You're up, opponent. We're at eight. I mean, you could win, obviously, if you draw Flare. If you draw Flare, you win. He's digging. Two of them are gone, right? If I remember, one, two are gone. We're at ten. He has nine, I believe. Okay, he has 10. Okay, we're dead to a flare. We're dead to a flare. He only has one more time he can cycle. This is the last time. Did he hit it? Yes. He did not. He did not hit it. Wow, nice. All right. What a game. Opponent can't cast spells from anywhere from other than their hand. Don't care for that. Cling is fine. Duress. Dun, dun, dun. Target opponent reveals their hand. She's an online from it. Eh. Nightmare for sure. Because we want to exile their graveyard. Um, let's see. What do we not need? So obviously we don't need the ECDs. That doesn't do anything in this matchup. Does absolutely nothing. Oh, that's another card we could have drawn. I forgot about that. We could exile the graveyard with this guy. And we could have drawn a lot. Keep, I'm going to keep one Necromancy on there so I could call out his uh, lair. Um, what else? What else? Completely forgot about the Callus, man. I think I'm going to cut one of the Treacherous Blessings. What else? Is there anything else I'm bringing in here? Shadows Verdict, their extinction is four mana versus it's four mana versus five mana. Four versus five. Oh yeah, I kept counting as graveyard like an idiot when I can just look at and tells you what it is. <laughs> That's funny, right? So odd, even, even, odd. Guess I could cut one of the vanishing. All right. 
Dun, 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 dun. Do I need Prolokunos in this matchup? No. Yeah, I'd rather have Shadow's Verdict here. So I can exo all his cards, or all his creatures, let's just say. I mean, I like this card, but it might be a little slow. But especially since I'm on the draw, not the play. I was on the play, maybe, but... I'm going to cut the other Treacherous Blessing. All right. I was on the play, maybe, but I'm on the draw. So he already will probably have Improbable Cause in against us. Man, we beat a three Improbable Cause and double Zenith flared. That was pretty sick. Um... Uh, I mean, I guess that was because we did a turn for Onyx, but we messed up and let our Onyx die, though. So there was that, too. Okay, we play this. We let our Onyx die. Yep, cycle. Cycle, cycle, cycle. He's a, I guarantee he's going to have improbable cause. Watch. There it is. There it is. Or probable alliance, I should say. Improbable alliance. Why do I keep saying in cause, but improbable alliance? All right, we're just going to cling and draw a card. And that's why I was, uh, like, very hesitant. But he runs creatures, too, and so that's the other thing. It's like, I can still hit his possible creatures. So. All right, let's go ahead and remove one of his cards. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use it to draw. And get rid of one of his cycling effects. That's a good draw. I guess we put this on black. We play Omen at end step. Probably brought in the gates and stuff, right? We play in the gate. I mean, we play Omen and hopefully into a Doom Foretold and see where we go from there. Yep. We need... I mean, it would have been nice to have... Uh, I don't know what actually. But um, on the play, I bring in the remorses and take out the verses. Vanishing. Because it's so much better. Obviously, if he hits a turn two, agonizing. I mean, there's nothing I could do. If he hits a turn two, well, we have that now, I guess. So he has even board. Sure. So now I can just extinction him if I want. Hmm. Do I play Omen just for the life gain? I think so. Because this is all even. I think I do. So I'm going to play Omen. I need it for the life gain. He has another cycle in his hand because there's a pause. There's Eerie Ultimatum. Alright, so I got to make sure I keep the colors correct. So I can attack and then play Extinction on even. Guess that's what we do. All right, let's go to combat. If he blocks, he blocks. If he doesn't block, we going to play extinction regardless. All right, so we have we only need two green, so I'm gonna put this on black and I'm gonna play extinction on even. Remove his board so we take less damage. Because otherwise he could just attack us and then Zen flare. You know what I mean? And then. Things get out of hand that way. So let's just keep think another one. Yikes. He draws them pretty well though. <laughs> he draws them pretty well. That's a yikesers. Well, he doesn't have blue mana up, so we get to play a Doom Foretold here. I think I have to play Doom Foretold first. I, I have to get rid of these, right? <sighs> His graveyard's there, yeah, but so I'll put this on white. Play Doom Foretold. I gotta get rid of these alliances or I'm just gonna lose the game. He's gonna cycle here, create two more two two one ones. Yep. Create two more. Oh, okay. So maybe he's gonna cycle pre draw phase so you can draw so you can do it, I guess, either way. I need a land, would it be nice? So I can play at least Onyx. Otherwise, I guess we're just playing... Um, I guess we're just playing Nightmare maybe then. Okay, Exile that with that. So Nightmare and Exile? Sure. 
Exo Nightmare. Got it. Got it? Yep. Alright, so we're sacking the omen, obviously. That was easy. Ooh. Yep, I gotta do this, though, still. So let's get rid of this. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So he's forced to sack the Improbable Alliance. This way he has to sack the Alliance. And unfortunately, I may have to give up Doom Foretold, but we'll see. Because I do need that Exile Graveyard effect. That is going to be huge. So let's find out. I should leave an upkeep stop in case I draw something, though. In case I draw a permanent that I can play. Zenith Flare. So, okay. Well, he went for Zenith Flare now. So, if he since he went for Zenith Flare, I think I give up Nightmare so I can use the rest on him. Yeah, I'm going to give this up now. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. All right. Let's see what you got. No. That sucked. All right. Dang. <laughs> Oh, wow. That sucks. And there's Binding of the Gods, but... White, white. Black, black, black. I guess we need another land. I'm gonna play Improbable Alliance here, I guess. Yep, that was, that was unfortunate. Mmm... Yep, Improbable Alliance. I can't exile my graveyard here because I drew ultimate. Oh, because I have ultimatum. So, yep. I should have just gone for the Onyx. That was bad on my. I should have just took in the risk. Especially since I have ultimatum in my hand. I should have also put this in my hand. Well, 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 guess we, oh my gosh. Oh, that's game. Will, 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 that's game. I would bring in the, the red dude. Sure. I would have brought in the red dude. Start cycling and doing pinging me. Well, 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 huh? One, two, three, four. So you can have a flare and win the game. Flare does nine. All right. Ooh, mean. If you're going after Onyx, then that's... So he's, he was thinking about going after Onyx, so he doesn't have flare in his hand. But how do I win here is a question. So I bring in one, two, three, four... Exact this. I'm gonna play duress. White, white. I need black. I'm gonna play duress. I guess I play duress first, right? We have black, black, white. Yeah, we'll play duress first. I gain two with a magecraft effect. I gain two here also. Okay, so he has two of them. Tap two target creatures. That's the only one you can cast, I guess. Let's look at the top and throw some cards in the graveyard. So, so we're gonna throw that in the graveyard. We're gonna let's take this, obviously, and then let's play your ultimatum. I think we just won the game, maybe, maybe. It's not a guarantee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's attach it to this. Yep. 
So I guess we kill one of the flyers. Let's exile target player's graveyard. Create some dudes. I don't know why you're cycling. I guess you could create more 1-1s. One -ones. But I now get to exile more cards. Odd. All right, Yorion blinks. One, two, three, because he has flyers. There's no point in blinking that. There's no point in blinking. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, man. All right. I guess let's just crack this right now while we have, while we can do it, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Uh, boom. Goodbye, cycling deck. Goodbye, cycling deck. All right, let's play some Onyx Ultimate. Um, so far, we're doing pretty good. We beat Cycling. We beat um, the Sultai Control deck, I guess. So let's see what happens um, against Aggro. We'll see what happens against Aggro. It's a, it's a Doom kind of deck. So we'll see. Doom might have something against Aggro. May not. I know against Gruel Aggro is kind of, you know, iffy, but... We got some uh, new tools with the Vanishing Verse to exile monocolored permanents, both Henge, Ember Cleave. Let's see. So they're on the play. I'm ke I'll am keep this hand because we got spells and lands. We keep this hand. Turn one, turn two, Wolf of Haven. Uh, turn three, either Omen or Callus. We'll see what happens, what he does. Or even if Nightmare, if we need to get rid of one of his creatures against aggro, we can. This guy's actually really good, very versatile. Against aggro, you can make a one-one. Against control, you draw a card. Against you know other decks, you can exile graveyards and whatnot. So like it's very versatile. I think we're playing against Rakdos because I think the only deck that plays Eye Witch or Eye Twitch or whatever is Rakdos. I could be wrong. Could be like some kind of Magecraft deck. But I believe Rakdos is the only one so he has a way he has something he could play to like sack because there's pauses so put this put this here so he has maybe he i'm assuming he has plum of the whatever it's called but he has plum it looks like so he's gonna draw a card at least one yeah because look there's pauses here i mean it could be a removal spell but Plain eye twitch village rights. Oh, okay, same difference, I guess. Plum village rights, same difference. All right, so we're gonna play then uh, nightmare instead. What is this? Exile target non land permanent. Its controller draws a card. Okay, interesting. So I'm gonna play nightmare here rather than another one, so I can see his hand to just look at his hand here, and I get to kill. I guess this eye twitch. Those. Okay. I mean, obviously, killing the eye twitch is not great or whatever, but I get to kill it. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Sure. Put this on that. Two, four, five. This would be, wait, two, three, four, five. What am I saying? I was about to like six. I don't have six. Yep, Rectos. As I figured, it's Rectos. Yep. Yippers. All right. Well, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. What you got all right let's read some of this stuff okay i don't care for that I don't care for that don't care for that maybe what does this one do you may sacrifice a creature when you do does three damage to any target each player discards a card return to our creature card from a graveyard put one counter on it each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker so target non-land permanent its controller draws a card so i guess this is the only card you may does three damage each player discard so it does discard because these ones i don't care for these three i don't care for but then i could also kill this with the binding of the gods the first effect doesn't do anything so i guess i'll take this one then all right uh doo -doo 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 -doo. i could play treacherous blessing here he could, he's gonna draw a card probably i could grab yorion Maybe I grab Yorion here instead. Let's play this. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Yorion here instead, especially since he doesn't have anything he could do here. We're gonna exile his graveyard if that matters, but doesn't. So he's gonna draw a card, take six. 
Sure. Draw takes six. He got Kron War, my um, Yorion, I guess, but fine. Lantern. Well, good thing we have this, right? Good thing we have this. Tegrid's Lantern. Sure, I lose three life. All right, exit our graveyard. Let's go ahead and play this. Destroy the Tegrid's Lantern. Goodbye. Play Fable Passage. Pass turn. What do I need? I have three green, two black, one white, two white. So maybe I grab black because Eerie Ultimatum costs triple black. Maybe I grab, because this could grab me the land anyways. So yeah, I grab black here because this is going to grab me the tri land anyways, I guess. So grab black if we get a chance. Okay. There's another land. So grab the tri land. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is only seven. So it looks like I'm letting this resolve because i'd rather do other stuff with this let's put this on white if blinking this doesn't do anything for me so maybe i just play treacherous blessing here and then play omen at end step let's draw some cards his hand is not doing anything against us predation predation one two three four five six seven a past turn I was like, I have seven cards, but pass turn. Does he want to take seven and draw a card? Then he has to start worrying about these omens. These omens can get him. I have Yorion to blink. I wish I would have drew a land so that, but all right, you're taking seven. Wow. Risky plays, opponent. Risky plays. My omens can start killing you. Sacrifice a creature when you do deals three damage to any target. Okay, so you can claim my dude and then I twitch. Sure. Additional cost to exile target, exile a creature you control, exile a creature or planeswalker. I wanted to play Omen, but I guess I'm playing this on this instead. Now the first effect's not doing anything for him. And I can do this to exile his graveyard, so I'm not worried about that part. I am not worried about that. Let's crack this. Let us go grab black. Yeah, grab black. Can exile his graveyard at any time. We have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have access to nine mana. Three, six, nine. Can also do predation. Can do five and this. All right, let's do that. Let's ECD the um, this whatever effect, and then instead play Omen. All right, yeah, that works. And then we can blink it with Yorion. Blink both of them. This is also going to start taxing his mana, so he can't cast these cards effectively. So yeah, we're just going to use ECD to tax his mana so that these cards become useless. It's additional cost. This is going to cost 6 mana. This is going to cost 3 mana. Yeah. And then the fact that he took 7 from Castle is probably going to kill him as well. Alright, tax your mana. Let's go to combat first. Attack you. What you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have access to nine mana. Nine mana, huh? All right, I think I'm gonna just play Omen and Blink Yorion. Yeah, let's do that. And then I create a bunch of dudes. And then I'm Binding of the Gods, so if he takes it with this, I have Binding of the Gods to retake my Yorion back. And then we'll go ahead and Yorion and blink everything. I want to tax him multiple turns. I don't have anything in my graveyard anyway, so ECD popping off is not going to help me out. So I'm going to blink the 
uh, Elspeth conquers dead. So that way I could tax this turn again the following turn. Let's blink the four. We get to draw three cards. I'm debating on putting this in play. But I also want to just see his hand. So I'm just going to keep it. I mean, I think we win the game. But this will allow me to see more of his deck. So that way, or more of his hand. So I can see what, what he's doing over there. So I can be ready for game two, game three. Yeah, we have eight tokens. He's at five. <laughs> we got eight tokens. You're at five. Three unknowns. He can his Akron War costs him six mana. So he can't even yeah, okay. He's like he can't even sack anything anymore. So Racto sack. Alright. Racto sack. So do, 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 do. we want the remorses, so we take away his hand. Mm, let's see. Do I care about I don't do I care about clang sort of and sort of not? I think Extinction and Shadow Verdict are perfectly fine here. Maybe the Nightmare. What am I taking out, though? I cut one of the Wolf of Haven since I'm on the draw rather than the play. Don't want the Necromantias, of course, in this matchup. What else? Pelucanos. Nah, I got Elders. Elders are stronger here. I'd rather keep the Elder... And then one more card. Maybe I'll cut a tr no, this deck. I mean, it is a card advantage engine for both of us. I think I'll keep it at 81. Let's run it at 81. Because both of us are like a card engine type of deck. So cutting treacherous blessings could be bad. M Earl's uh, UI. All right, let's see if we could do a 2-0 on this guy. Go out and rank up to the next tier. All right, we don't have black mana, but we have a scry. So I'm going to keep on the draw with the scry. I can cast, I can play four of my six. If I draw a black mana, I could play five of my seven. Okay, that's not a black mana. That's not a black mana. Okay. I mean, we're not in trouble, but I mean, I mean if I draw, what is this? I didn't even see this. Hold on. Sacrifice it deals three damage to target player. That player discards a card, activate only at sorcery speed. Okay. Um, I mean, it would be nice to draw black mana, you know, but it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting worse. No, not like this. We have one more chart. We have two draw faces, I guess. <laughs> oh man. Oh giggity. All right. Wow. I mean, I guess we can almost play the Gargaroth. But this is hilarious. We're playing green white here, guys. We're playing green white. Crux, uh, that's fine. Crux, he has village rights. Darn. He has village rights. So there's a pause. So what do I get rid of here? Extinction event? I hope this is, doesn't bite me in the bite me. Oh wow, he doesn't have village rights. Did he not keep the um hmm? I wonder if he didn't keep a control stop. Maybe he didn't have oh my gosh. Guess we're grabbing Yorion. <laughs> I guess we're playing green white, guys. Green white. This is hilarious. So I'm gonna throw Yorion out first so I can try to bait him into stealing Yorion. And then I'm gonna throw an Elder Gargroth. Ooh, there we go. There we go. All right. Now that we drew black, I'm gonna play Nightmare against him first so that we can look at his hand. What does he have? What the heck? Is it... What is this? Create a 2 1 black? Sure, that's fine. What is this? Target player sacrifice. Oh, because he's a Tegrid. Oh, I see. That's right. He is a Tegrid uh, Rakdos sacrifice deck. That's right. All right. So if he wouldn't have blocked, I would have just killed it with Nightmare. So it's a good thing he blocked. But I want to see his hand first before I cast Elder and Yorion. Sure, sure, sure. That's why I was debating on it keeping 
the extinction event. Because uh, I can exile his creatures and it doesn't get this um, village rights, okay. It doesn't get the learn ability. But, I mean, I didn't have black at the time and Heartless Act might have been better. Oh, he got that card again. All right. Very well, opponent. Very well. Temple of Malice. I mean, we get to look at his hand, discard a card from his hand. Then we get the Yorion blink and possibly do it again. And then if he steals our Yorion, I'm fine with that. Oh, there's Extinction Event. He does it again. Ooh, X then says. What is this again? Whenever you cast it, it's copy. It's in your sources. But return target non-legendary creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I'm assuming non-legendary, right? This is legendary? Yeah. TM's Awakening. So one, two, three, four. Guess I take a Cron War. Looks like I take a Cron War. So he can't steal my creature. I could take this and cast Elder Gargaroth. But I'd rather take another card out of his hand also. Do I also do I care for this? He steals my dude. What does that accomplish? That's fine. I'll take it. It's fine. It's like, what does it accomplish, really? All right. Um, wait, 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 wait. Green, green. Okay, put this on green. So attack first. And then we're going to Yorion blink these two. Submit two. I need another. I, need, I mean, I need another two black cards, but I was like, I need another black card. We have Extinction Event to steal, I mean, to kill his dude. Black, black, white. Oh, he's missing white mana. What am I saying? But he could cast the other side, the six mana card. So he's not using it really for the uh, Extas. He's using it for the Awakened Blood Avatar. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. I was like, hold on. Hold up. I think we got this. I think we got this against the Rakdos Sacrifice deck. And we did it with only one black mana. So that's pretty good. I think he's debating on exiling my card, but I get to draw a card if he does it. Sure. He had to, because otherwise I also exile that. I drew another one anyways. <laughs> I drew another one. It's okay. No worries. But how does he deal with what I'm doing on the board anyways, though? So three, I don't have enough mana to do everything. So we're just going to do this and play this. So four, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. It's lethal. Guess we got game. Two, four, five, six, seven. He could bring back, what's his name? The, oh, the Cruxa. That's fine. I'll discard extinction event. And then I'll play Omen. And then I'll hardest act the Cruxa. What you got? What do you got, the opponent? Highlighting this graveyard. So I'm, I'm assuming this is coming out. Yep, there it is. So, all right. Discard extinction event. Yep. We look at his hand. We play hardest act. We play omen. We attack for game. Unless he has a removal spell in his hand, we have game. That's exactly nine points of damage. I mean, he could play something here because there's a hasn't passed his to his end step here. So this card can be played. I don't know if it's a land or if it's a spell, but it could be played because these cards can't. Obviously, it's either four or six. So he has something. So, but we're going for game, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's see what's in your hand. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, it's a claim to the firstborn. Good game, opponent. Kill this. Yep, there we go. All right. Easy. Unfortunately, the deck is really good against the Rakdos Sacrifice deck. So, And that makes it to the next tier. Let's go ahead and play some Onyx Ultimatum on the ladder. This deck's been pretty sweet so far. I'm liking it. Let's see if we can find a match. There we go. Entering match. Got it. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're playing against. Rydior D. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Never mind. I butchered it probably. 
ride the or the i oh ride or die that's how he put ride but it's ride the or die but it's meant to be ride or die okay well this sounds bad we only have one land and we can't even play the ramp card and we're playing against the soul tie ultimato unfortunately this would have been an okay hit the sense uh, all right well i guess i'm bottoming the professor onyx because i can play every other card all right we need the necromantia here so let's put this on black we're gonna put the next one on green play wolf of willow haven um turn three play nightmare and then turn four doom foretold he has his own hate why would he put it on the tri land though See, that's the one thing I don't understand. I mean, I'm not playing the uh, Field of Ruin, but there's no reason not to be. You should always put it on basic lands because if someone is playing a Field of Ruin, they can now destroy your tri land and you lose Wolf Willow Haven. So always, 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 always. All right, so if I put this on white, I could put an upkeep stop so I could flash this in. Let's play Doom Foretold to make him sack this. Oh, actually, he can sack Wolf Willow Haven, which is also fine. If he decides he wants to sack that, then he loses a mana. Otherwise, he's going to have to sacrifice the Nightmare here. It doesn't work. You have an upkeep stop. I mean, you try. Sure. The only bad part, I guess, would be is if he has a, a Binding of the Gods. But, I mean, if I played Nightmare anyways, he could Binding the Gods that anyways. So, we'll put the upkeep stop, so that way we don't lose our Wolf Willow Haven. We could flash in the Omens and sack that instead. Play the land. Okay, so he took my Nightmare. Well, let's see if he has Binding of the God. Hopefully he doesn't, because then I can, you know, start picking away of his stuff. Alright, so I guess the other bad part would be if he has a Negate in his hand. Because then we have to sack our Wolf Willow Haven. Looks like he does. He has Mystical Dispute, sure. All right, I guess we're sacking this. Let's play this, and we'll make sure to leave an upkeep stop once again. Well, I mean, we both lost our Wolf Willow Haven, so, and I still have another Omen I can play. So, unless he picks this other one out of my hand, I still have something I can do. So let's try this again. Remove the stop. And then we get to sacrifice the omen. Another omen. Well, we have a lot of omens. All right. Um, I don't need that. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And unless he has some random flash card. Okay. Never mind. Let's say if unless he has some random flash card, that's just going to get rid of it. Ooh, eerie ultimatum. But we have what? One, two, three. We have four, four different cards right now. All right, so, oh, that was the worst possible card to draw. Um, I guess we add Yorion to our hand. He has two unknowns. He has an omen. Ugh, yep. So he's going to hit an Eerie Ultimatum against us. Oh, not Eerie Ultimatum. I have the Eerie Ultimatum. He's going to hit a Soul Tie Ultimatum against us, it looks like. So, all right, what are we going to do? I mean, I guess that kind of sucks. Maybe I should have kept a land on top. There's his ultimatum, most likely. I'm sure he has a removal spell here one as one of the cards, but I'm sure he also... The card he kept on top is probably the ultimatum. He's going to blink Yorion the Omen. I would love to draw a Necromantia. If I could call out the ultimatum and just get rid of it right now. Would be nice. That way I don't have to deal with it anymore. I could one for one this guy easily all day, every day. One to the top. Hmm. All right. I guess we're just going to heartless. Oh, I don't want to heartless act this. I guess if I want to get through some damage, I guess I heartless act this. And then I could hold this up. Attack for two. So his hand has to be land ultimatum of his four cards. And then it's, yep, there it is. It would be, nope, it's not, because he would have just straight up used it. He wouldn't be tapping specific manas here. Wolf Willow Haven, sure. Pelucanos. Uh, yep. All right, so I was debating on playing this, but if I'm going to use an extinction event, I don't think I want to play this. But then again, 
what else am I going to do? I can also hit him for three damage anyways. So let's do it anyways. All right. So what do we need? All right. So we have white, white, green. I guess we have to put this on black. So that way we can have triple black. All right. Let's attack. He's going to block one. I mean, that's fine. It reduces its his power anyways. And we're trying to kill him as well. Um, I could play Yorion Blanket. Or I could play Extinction Event. I'm going to try Yorion Blink and see what happens. I want to. Tr I'm trying to put pressure on him here at the same time. So now I'm going to have five tokens. And then say he's going to probably fight my Yorion. And then we have five tokens though. So that's fine. He can bring back Perlucanos. Ooh, Elder. All right. I guess we got to call Odd now, huh? So that way we get rid of the Elder. Maze Mind Tome too. Interesting. All right, well, there's Eerie Ultimatum. It sucks that I have to call Odd, though. All right, so I got to call Odd. I can't let him have the Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, I can't let him have the Elder. Yep. We could just dodge. Sorry, so Odd. If we could dodge it for one turn, we would be fine. We just got to dodge it for one turn. So you're going to take four. Oh, I can't even sack that. Oh, I already have one in the graveyard, so it won't matter. I have two in the graveyard, so it won't matter. Three, four, five, six. He only has six mana. Okay, there's his Outrun's Epiphany. All right, so let me see what I could do. Um, Is it worth playing Eerie Ultimatum right now is the question. Is it worth playing Eerie Ultimatum? Because we're only getting back one, two, three. We're getting back four cards. Is it worth it to get back only four cards? If I still had the Yorion in the grave, or if I would have had the Yorion, it would have been nice, but could wait a turn. All right, let's attack first. And then also, it doesn't, I mean, the Doom Foretold doesn't necessarily do much here because he has three permanent, four permanents. So the Doom is not really helping out. But bringing more tokens in play does help. All right, we're just going to play it. Don't wait. He's playing, he's main decking, saw it coming. Is this okay? I wasn't expecting saw it coming. All right. Let's eliminate. So now we gotta just draw. I mean, he has Maze Mind Tome. I guess Maze Mind Tome maybe gives it away that he might not be the ultimatum deck. Interesting. Well, we gotta try to draw some of our gas. That's not our gas. All right. Um, one, two. I guess we could. Let's, let's see if I attack. It puts him down. I mean, there's no point of attacking now because we only have two tokens. So I'm just going to pass, I guess. And then I'm just going to crack Omen at end step. I mean. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to keep getting aggressive. You can fight one, block one. Yep, fight the other one. Yep. I wasn't expecting Saw it coming, that's for sure. I, was, I figured it was all runs epiphany, but he has an omen in his hand. He's at four. The maze mind tome is going to get him back up to eight. He has too much card advantage right now. He has three cards to my none. That's bad. But I guess the good part is he's not an ultimatum deck, so. Looks like he's just like soul tie control. Or mid range, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's, I mean, soul type control, because that's really only played in control. So if I see a random <laughs> ultimatum, well, all right, let's make sure. I, mean, I guess I could sack it at his end step, so I don't need to put an upkeep stop. Create a 2 2, sure. So he doesn't have a counter spell here, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's sack this. We're at 20 seven life oh um i don't think either one of these is what i'm looking for doom foretold i have no permanence so don't want that i don't want this either so let's cycle okay binding of the gods 
doesn't help. I guess I destroy the token here. Because if I destroy the Pelucanos, he just brings it back. At, he just brings a bigger one back. So I'm not looking. I mean, it has to exile 12, right? No, six of the cards. Yeah, so I was right. So if you kill it, he just brings a bigger one back. So that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. I guarantee that dies. I guarantee, I'm going to leave the try land in. So that way, if I draw it, I can cycle it. But I'm pretty sure this either gets countered or gets killed. There's no way this guy survives. Oh, yeah, there he could do that also. Yep. The hardest act, and then he's going to bring back a bigger Pelucanos. So, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Well, it's looking a little bad right now. Wait, it could show... Ah, oh, I didn't know they could give you that option now. That's cool. Ugh. It's the worst possible card to see. All right, let's just call out something then. So I don't think it's an ultimatum deck, so I'm not going to call out ultimatum. So I'm going to call out Saw It Coming, because I feel like he's a control deck. His hand. That's his hand? No. Oh, his hand's draw the extinction event. Okay. That's the graveyard. Opponent's library. All right, so let's see. I was like, if that was his hand, that's nuts. So he's main deck. Yeah, so he's the mid-range uh, control deck, whatever. All right, so the only counter spell he has here is Mystical Dispute. So if I could draw something good. I mean, I, he has another Maze Mind Tome, two Mystical Disputes. All right. Opponent's hand, opponent's. So he has a three turn clock on us. We have, I mean, he could start, I would start, if I was him, I would start sacking the omens. Because um, it's not really doing anything for you. So you might as well start sacking. No, stop drawing lands. I'm going to lose to a Pelucanos. If I don't draw something here, what could I draw that would be good? Eerie Ultimatum would be amazing. Thin the deck out. One less land, I guess, right? Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what I grab. It's one less land. All right. Oh, wow, we drew another land. All right. All right, let's see. All right, so they're the... So I'm going to bring in Plucanos. I'm going to bring in Extinction Event here. Agonizing Remorses. I guess the rest are technically fine. Nightmare. Okay, so what am I... I don't want the Eliminates because they don't hit anything here. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think I need the Treacherous Blessings in this matchup. Actually, I mean, I could call out Coma. That might be fine. But... The rest, Agonizing Remorse. Heartless uh, Act is technically fine. I'm going to cut one of the Vanishing Verses here. Because it doesn't hit Coma or Pelucanos. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm going to cut one of the Wolf Willow Havens. Maybe I don't need that many Extinction Events. And... Hmm... He's gonna bring in a bunch of more counter spells here. I brought in another Plukronos, so that's good. Alright, um Dun, dun, dun. Man, the last card is tough. The last card is tough. I mean, I could remove Vanishing Verse, I guess. Sure. Ride. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's supposed to be Ride or Die, but it's Ridey or Die 164. All right. Uh, well, we don't have three lands. I have to take them all again. 
All right, I guess we could keep this one, put a plane to the bottom. Or I could even do temple, but that helps me scry. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Fable Passage, crack. We almost had him with the omens, almost had him, but then he drew an elder and we had to unfortunately play um, against the extinction against the elder. Um, I'll keep that, it's a, it's a draw card. Forces him to try to counter it or something. If he plays a blue source here, maybe I don't play it and hold up omen. Duress, ooh, that's an interesting art. So I guess he's gonna take our, um, yeah, I was gonna say Doom Foretold. So play this, let's draw a card. Agonizing Remorse, okay. Gives us some information on their hand. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, Treacherous Blessing also. All right, let's see what they have. All right, so they're gonna go up to four mana, right? I don't care for Elder. I can kill that with my Binding. I don't care for Yorian, I can kill it. I, mean, I think I just take Binding of the Gods here. Put this one on black. Attack for two. I don't care for Elder. I have Binding to kill it. Same with Yorion. He doesn't have anything he could blink out here. So I don't really care for those. And I'm gonna, my turn is going to be... Ooh, that was nice. I drew a land. So one unknown. So let's put this... Actually, let's just play the Treacherous Blessing. If he has Mystical Dispute, he counters it regardless. So... Sure. Let's draw three. And then this way, in case I draw, see, in case I draw a tap land, I'm gonna play the tap land over the untap land. Since I'm not doing anything with two mana anyways, there's no reason to keep it. What do I have in here? So I have a callus. All right, so we're gonna ECD the Pelucano, so it just exiles it. All right, so put this on black and ECD the Pelucanos. That way it doesn't go to the graveyard, so you can't keep reoccurring it. The bad part, I guess, would be... I could have actually just played the Professor Onyx. Hmm. But I want to exile that so that he doesn't... He's not able to bring it back, is the thing. If he plays Elder here, one, two, three, four, five. If he plays Elder, I could play Onyx then. Okay, so two... So let's see what he's playing with. And we his mana's tax now. So it's gonna cost him more to do stuff. Wow. What he he didn't play anything? Interesting. <laughs> okay. Alright. He did not play he didn't want to play an elder. I mean, I know he, I have binding of the gods, but force it. You playing nothing just didn't help you out at all. That was odd. I wouldn't have done that, but that was odd. Let's put a 1-1 one, one on it. Let's draw a card. Card advantage. Card it advantage. All right, now we can go ahead and play this this girl. Make him sack that. Go ahead and sacrifice. Um, We have three green. We have whites. I guess we put this on green. Let's attack. I'm going to draw a card. Hit you for six. I can out mid range you here, opponent. Yep. All right. All right. Let's see. Did we see anything different? Heartless Act, Duress, Elder, Pelucanos, Binding the Gods. We did not. All right. So I think we just leave it the same then. We don't need. I mean, Clink can remove Pelucanos, but that's not really worth it. The Magistrate doesn't do much here. Eliminates. No. Necromantia is. I mean, like I said, Necromantia could be fine. Um, I think we just leave it and just run it back. See what happens. See what happens. Ride or die. Ride or die. That game one, it was so close, man. If I would have just drew, if you wouldn't have had that, saw it coming. Saw it coming, huh? That was that was clutch. Good job, opponent. Good job. Ride or die.
Ride or die. Ride or die. Come on, ride or die. There we go. There we go. I don't know how much more of his deck he could change is the other thing. Like, what else is he changing? After, you know what I mean? He's not an ultimatum deck, obviously. So, what else are you bringing in or taking out is the question. That you're taking this long to sideboard again. Uh, we have three mana. I guess we have to keep. Yeah, we have to keep. Turn one. Turn. I mean, I could also play. The, okay, so, all right. Let's see what land I draw, because I can technically do this. Okay, well, I could do this, play this, and then that could hit me my third land. All right, we'll do that instead. Obviously, predation is a good card, but if I don't draw, what is he gonna do? Wolf of Willow Haven. Okay. So I guess I gotta put this on. In case I need white, let's put this on white. Let's play Agonizing Remorse. All right, so he has Test of Talents, Pelucanos, Coma. So I can kill Coma with, I have the Extinction Event, okay. Um, Heartless Act, I don't care for. He's currently doesn't have enough mana yet. So I think I just take the Pelu. I mean, I can Extinction Event the Pelucanos also. Interesting. Oh, this is tough. Should I just take the test of talents here then? All right, we're going to take the test of talents. Because I can't. Oh, wait, I don't even have four mana. <laughs> I don't even have four mana. What am I thinking? I should have just taken the Pelucanos. He, oh, no. I forgot. I don't even. Have, I mean, I. All right, we'll see. We'll see. He's gonna probably grab blue because of coma. I'm assuming he grabbed. Oh, he doesn't have black mana. He has to grab black. Never mind. Oh no! All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I should have taken the Pelucanos. I forgot about. Oh, I forgot about not having four mana. Yep. So two, three, four. So you can play Pelucanos here. I mean, the coma is technically fine. I can extinction event. Oh, okay. Now I should have taken the the coma. I should have taken coma. Okay, now he's going to blink that also. All right, so let's put this on black. And then I have to play Binding of the Gods, unfortunately, here. Otherwise, he's going to be able to blink this. And it also helps me hit my mana. Because he has two, he has one, he has two, three, four, he has five mana. So if I would have left the Cultivator survive, he would have just Yorion blinked it, got himself another mana here. So we don't want him to do that. And we hope, you know, obviously we're assuming he didn't draw lands. So if he didn't draw lands, he could only play Pelucanos here, which would be fine because then I can Extinction Event it. So if I draw an untapped land, no, Elder doesn't do anything because he has Heartless Act. So we can't do that. We cannot do that. Two, three, four, five. He's two mana away from coma. Okay, he's one mana away from coma. One, two, three, four. So you can play Pelucranos and use Heartless. Oh, you can't use Heartless Act on it because it has counters. Never mind. Correction. He can't use Heartless Act. He has double blue, double green. Okay, we drew a land, so that's good. Let's go grab a try land. Let's play. Uh, let's play the land first in case. So let's see. In case he has this last card is like Jordy Disruption. If that last card is Jordy Disruption, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. If the last card is Jordy Disruption, then it definitely you should be playing this first. Let's use Extinction Event. Let's call out Even. His Hardest Act doesn't work here because it has counters, so he can't do that. If he plays the other coma, we have another extinction event to deal with it. He needs to have land here. Otherwise, he doesn't play coma. And then we just call out odd. Yes, he has a 3-3. Three, three, but then we have, you know, other ways to do it. We could keep blocking it. You know, we have ways to do stuff with it. Let's see. Do you got land? You Do you got land? 
yeah, if I wouldn't have took in test the talents here, he would have been able to extinction, you know, counter my extinction event. Uh, so he's looking for land, so you can play Yorion. But he needs to make sure it has to be blue land. Well, one to the top, so I'm assuming that's the blue land. It's the blue land. Ooh, Eerie Ultimatum. All right, um, let's play this. Let's see if we can, um, we have enough mana, we can draw a card. Okay. We have only one permanent in the graveyard. I could force him to use Heartless Act here. Should I force him to use Heartless Act? Yeah, I'll force him to use Heartless Act. Because otherwise I could just blink Callus. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to let me blink the Callus. So force him to use Heartless Act here. Let him play Coma, and then we have Extinction Event. The only bad thing is that we only have one permanent there. So this is doing nothing at the moment. I mean, yes, we have three permanents in our hand, so it's going to become good. But at the moment, it's just going to sit there for a long time. Dun, dun, dun. If he plays, let's see, Coma, I'm going to attack with Callus first because Coma and Callus are both odd. So I want to, ugh, that sucks. He drew Nightmare. Wow, that was so good. Well, my opponent is drawing really good. I guess I might, since he's going to take this out of my hand, I guess I just played it. So put this on white. I guess we're playing Aerial Ultimatum. It only grabs two cards, but it's better than nothing. If he counters this, all right, take them both. All right, so what are we doing here? So we're destroying this. I only have an Omen. I don't really care for that. I mean, I do care for Extinction Event, though. So, yeah, we're going to destroy this. And then we're going to draw a card. If he didn't have the Nightmare, man. That sucks. And we have Yorion. We can use it to blink stuff, so. Yep, he has to do it now. Otherwise, I get to take stuff for free. He's just waiting to protect Coma. Yep. See? He's not playing Coma. He wants to protect it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have enough mana that we can go ahead and blink Yorion and protect against Mystical Dispute. Come on. He put it on the tri land. I mean, it doesn't give you double blue though, so I don't have to worry about saw it coming. So the only thing I have to worry about would be like, um, what is it, mystical dispute? I guess. Okay, saw it coming is there. So now he can protect coma. So now he can protect coma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, he could technically protect coma, but not really, because we have both those cards all right what do i need though um uh, i mean we have everything i guess we don't really need anything so i just grab a white here just to be safe so one two three four five six seven eight nine mana nine mana um all right so let's play this and then blink it with the orion blink blink one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I think I'm going to take his Wolf Willow Haven here to bring him down mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he has seven mana. So if he wants to cast Coma, he can't protect it. Omen's already been used. We don't really care. I mean, yeah, it gives him the ability to scry later down the road, but it's already been used. We don't care. So we're just going to take the, the Wolf Willow Haven here just to prevent him from generating extra mana. Since this is probably saw it coming, if he has another land in his hand, he would have been able to play Coma and protect it. So we're not going to give him the ability. Sure. 
Now we can just call out odd. That's fine. We can also just ECD. I think we'll probably just ECD here. Resolves. Another land. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep the try land there. So if I draw it, I can cycle it because I have a lot of lands in my hand right now. So let's go ahead and play ECD, remove coma. And then we'll play Elder. Actually, hmm, maybe I should have kept the ECD. Could have called out Odd here with the Extinction event, and it's fine. That is fine. All right, uh, let's throw this out then. No attacks, your turn. What you got, opponent? What you got? If he has another coma in his hand, we just attack with the Elder Gargaroth, force him either to um, tap our dude down. If he does, then we can use Extinction Event. Okay, he has his own Elder. He tapped so he can protect it with Salt coming, sure. My creatures have Death Touch now, so... Oh, he can't even play Salt coming because it's Texas's mana. My creatures have Death Touch, so we're just going to attack with everything. If he wants to block stuff, by all means, go for it. We're going to draw a card here. All my creatures have Death Touch. Ooh, nice. So if he doesn't block Elder, we have ECD. And his mana is being tacked, so... He can't even play Salt coming here. You're down to six. Let's go ahead and remove the Elder. You can't use your effect. Sure. Let's go ahead and remove this. Um, I guess I'll look at his hand just to be safe. Just to be safe. We know this, what this is, so. And then we could just pass turn. So we get to bring back Callus from the graveyard. He's using up his mana. I think we got this locked up, boys. Boys and girls, we got this locked up. Because he has to block Elder. And then, yep, there we go. We got it. We got it. There it is. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back. I am Top Deck King here, and we are at the sideboard guide portion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the deck intro and the gameplay so far. And hopefully, by the end of you guys watching this video, I get you guys to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification button. I post videos weekly, usually three to four a week at the moment. Um, as time progresses, you know, and I get better at this, I'll post more videos. But at the same time, I'm not trying to post a video every single day because uh, a lot of decks aren't great, you know. So I'm trying to find decks that I do well with and then I post it. Like, for example, this deck right now that I'm playing that I'm showing you is 12-2, 85% win rate. And we're just crushing these Soul Tie decks. We are 6-0 against Soul Tie Ultimatum slash Control. I believe we've played one control version and then five soul tie ultimatum deck so we are crushing it the deck we lost to was one we played against rogues we lost to that and we're one one again so far teamer adventure but the other decks we're just crushing them and so yep so we're doing very good with this deck at the moment 85 percent win rate we are currently um diamond four with the deck um, I'm, I'm, I could easily probably play this deck to mythic. I don't think there should be a problem, but yep. So far the deck is very doing very good. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the cyborg guide. So I'm gonna give you a cyborg guide for five decks and the, these are going to be the most popular decks of the, uh, I wish I should say the best of three constructed. So the first one I'm going to give you a cyborg guide to is going to be white either life gain or aggro, however you want to call it. And what I do is I bring in one else with nightmare. 
um, because they run a lot of creatures, you know, Dactos, El Cid, um, what is it, Selfless Savior, Skyclave Apparition. They run a lot of creatures that have less than two power, so this will hit their creature. And then the secondary effect of looking at their hand and maybe taking something out of their hand, but the information is what I want as for the second effect, so I bring that in. Extinction Event, they're a creature-based deck. Extinction Event, obviously, same with Shadow's Verdict, they're a creature-based deck, so you want those in. One Eliminate also, because you can easily kill almost every single creature they play pelucanos is a great body to hold them off as six six that can also start fighting creatures and i bring the Janeth magistrate it's not great in this matchup but i bring it in as just a chump blocker it's a one three creature that can block or slash kill anywhere between eight to twelve of their creatures easily if they're running the speaker of the heaven guy and then selfless saver and El El Cid, that's 12 one drops that are one one so it can easily kill those creatures or hold them off um its effect doesn't do anything in this matchup but it's just there to hold them off um, and then because I have cards that are dead against them, so I can cut those. I cut two Treacherous Blessing because, I mean, they're a slower aggro deck, but they can get a lot of points of damage in on turns with, you know, Lumerate, Aspirant, Skyclave, Sky Maul, or whatever it's called. Um, you know, if they play the, uh, what is it, the God to put counters on their life linking creatures. So I take out Treacherous Blessing. Same goes with the Necromancy. I don't really want to be calling anything out, so I'm just going to cut that. Uh, one Doom Foretold is a four mana against a deck that. It's uh, primarily two mana cost effects because they're running Loris also. And as that goes the same with Elspeth Nightmare, Conquer's Death, or Conquer's Death, I should say. I cut Conquer's Death because it doesn't really exile too many cards. So, and it's five mana, and I don't really want to be doing that against an aggro life gain deck. So that's what I do against white aggro life gain. The next deck is Gruel Adventures. It's starting to gain popularity as we start. I'm starting to see on the ladder again. It's coming back, I guess. Um, so I bring in two Drenith Magistrates. This is to stop their adventure package. So they either play the instant and sorcery side, and then they can't play the creature side because Drenith prevents them, or they're going to have to start playing all the creature side when this comes into play. As well as it can block, you know, Edge Wall, the tokens Lovestruck makes. It can block a few of their creatures. So I bring this in. One eliminate, obviously, they're running three costs or less. Extinction Event, Shadow of Verdicts are great against their deck. All their creatures are three costs or less. And then, like I said, Extinction Event, most of their creatures are odd. And then one Pelucano, so I can hold the uh, fort, hold the field down. So I bring that in. I cut one Wolf Willow Haven. I'm not really, I don't need to ramp too much. It is nice to ramp, so you can get an early Shadow's Verdict or an early Elder or something like that. But I, I mean, I cut one, I still have two, and I also want more removal. Um, two Treacherous Blessing, they're an aggro deck. I don't want to be taking life. I don't want to be helping them kill me. So I take out Treacherous Blessing. Necromancia is not in good in this matchup. I take that out, and I cut one Doom Foretold because I want to curve down a little bit. And they play permanent, so they can just sack stuff. All right, red decks, you're going to see red, obviously. So against red, I bring in Extinction Event. So Extinction Event, Shadow's Verdict, I want to exile their creatures. Red decks are, they attack you, attack you, attack you. It's not like the red decks from Historic where they're just burning you. The red decks in Standard are trying to attack you. So you have to remove them, the creatures as soon as possible, as fast as possible, take as little damage as possible, and make sure their creatures get off the field so they can't play cheap Embercleaves. So Extinction Event and Shadow's Verdict accomplishes that. Two Dreneth Magistrates. I use this because they run, I believe, what is it? Eight one drops, the Fireblade Charger and the, the Night Guy. So Dreneth Magistrate can block them effectively. And then it has a pseudo use where it can also stop Bone Crusher from using the Stomp side. They're most likely after Cyborg going to take their Frost Bites out of their deck anyways. So... We can use that to help us play a 1-3 so they can't stop, you know what I mean? And then also after Cyborgs, they're probably going to bring in either Ox or Phoenix, and this will stop Ox or Phoenix as well. One Eliminate, one Pelucanos Eliminate to kill the creature, and Pelucanos is a 6-6 body against a red deck on turn 4. I mean, unless they have Embercleave, this is, they're not really going to get through us. And when I take out, like I said, the Wolf of Willow Haven, I'm not really looking to ramp. Treacherous Blessing, I don't want to be taking damage, helping them out. Two Necromantia doesn't, I mean, I could call Embercleave, but that's really all I want it for. And one Doom Foretold, because I want to curve down. I already have three more in the deck still. Soltai Ultimatum, I've been crushing this deck. I've been crushing Soltai Ultimatum with this deck. I am 
what is that? 5-0 with against them, 3-0 and 3-0. One of these uh Soul Tide decks, as you guys just saw, was the control version. So I am 5-0 against Soul Tide Ultimatum. I've been crushing this with this deck against them. And I mean it makes sense. Necromentia, you know, two main deck Necromentia. And I call out Soul Tide Ult or Emergent Ultimatum right away, and they can't one for one me. And then I have Eerie Ultimatum to bring back cards. They can't just keep up with me. So what I bring in is two Agonizing Remorse. So I bring in Hand Destruction here. So Agonizing Remorse, Elspeth's Nightmare, and Duress is all Hand Destruction. This Ag Agonizing Remorse exiles a card. Elspeth's Nightmare, I mean, the first effect and the third effect don't matter. But the second effect looks at their hand and takes a instant or, or takes a non-creature spell out of their hand. Duress takes out a spell out of their hand. And Dranith Magistrate comes in, so if I don't draw, say, Necromantia, I could cast Dranith Magistrate, and they can't play Emergent Ultimatum against me, because um, it says cards can't be casted that are not in their hand, and when they play Emergent Ultimatum, the cards are not in their hand, so this stops Emergent Ultimatum. And then what you take out against Soul Tide Ultimatum is removal in a sense. You just cut removal. So I cut two eliminates, two vanish first, three extinctions, and one pelucanos. Um, you could, I know, I mean, like I said, you could cut the third vanish first and leave the pelucanos in. It's up to you. Um, it goes both ways. Some games I need the vanishing verse, some games I need the pelucanos. So play with it and see which one you like better. I've I I've gone games where I've taken three verses out and left the Pelucanos in, and I've gone games where I've taken out two and taken the Pelucanos out as well. So the only part here in the Soul Tide Ultimatum deck is either you want to take three Vanishing Verse out and leave the Pelucanos in, or two and Pelucanos. So it's uh, you know it's your choice preference. I've done both, so I'm not 100% on that it's going to come up down to what you prefer obviously the perukalos being a 6-6 six, six makes it a faster clock against them so there's that uh you know theory so you know see what happens try both out and see what it does and then the last deck um unfortunately you know we're one run against or where we've only played one rogue deck and so prior to playing rogue i didn't have as much in my sideboard against rogues and that's why now you start and see more against rogues because it just didn't work i mean they're helping me mill so i can eerie ultimatum but at the same time it also since i don't have any counter spells i can't counter the drawing the log so so I added more escape cards in the great sideboard. So I brought in two, I bring in two cling to dust because I want to escape my graveyard out. So it makes into the story, it makes drawn on the lock useless. Um, one Elspeth's nightmare. I want to look, it kills all their creatures and I want to look at their hand. Duress, look at their hand and agonize and remorse to look at their hand, exile cards. And then we bring in eliminate to kill their creatures and Pelucanos for the escape mechanic. And cards I take out is Wolf Willow Haven. I'm not, don't really want to be ramping in against a, um, primarily turn two turn three kind of deck um it doesn't really do much so i just cut that predation they're not the only card you can hit i believe with predation is into the story two necromantias uh three mana to start removing you know yes this would be nice to hit adrenaline lock or into the story but that's hoping for the best so i cut that and i just go you know, curve down, use escape, destroy their creatures, look at their hands. So I cut Necromantia. I cut Doom Foretold one. Um, I think three would be fine in this matchup. And Doom Foretold is a four mana cost card. So you have to worry about that. Um, it, it is good against them if you can obviously keep the permanence in play, especially with Nightmare and stuff like that. So um, two Conquerors, that doesn't do anything against their matchup. They're, the only thing you can exile is Loras and one Eerie Ultimatum. Since I'm bringing in a lot of escape cards, I cut Eerie Ultimatum. But like I said, prior to me, I also added Callous Blood Mage in the main deck. And that card would be good against Rogue decks because you can use the third effect. Um, you can use the third effect and exile your own graveyard. So I did a little few uh, you know, changes to combat Rogues since the last one I've played. So it should be a lot better now, but like I said, you can use this to exile your own graveyard, and then you have a bunch more escape cards. I originally wasn't also running Pelucano, so I was just running the one in the sideboard. But yeah, so that's the deck. Um, like I said, we're doing very well on the ladder. We are currently diamond four with it at the moment. This is the beginning of the reset. I think this is like day two of the reset or day three of the reset. So it's a very solid deck, very good against Ultimatum. It is Onyx's 
amazing because her plus effect feeds eerie ultimatum you grab one the other two go to the graveyard and then eerie ultimatum brings back plenty of permanent so hopefully um if you enjoyed the intro gameplay the sideboard guide hopefully i'll get you guys to subscribe uh support me thanks for supporting me all the people who have been watching all the new people hopefully um i get another i get a subscribe from you but other than that thanks for watching hopefully this you try this deck out oh um before i go check the description of the video it has my twitter if you want to follow me on twitter it has the deck list so you can uh port it both to mobile arena and pc arena it has both versions um drop some comments down below if you play this deck you have any feedback on this deck if you have um any uh options you think i should i'm i'm missing you know opportunities i'm missing with the deck but drop some comments down below let me know what you guys think of this deck if you try the deck out how well it's doing for you you know but yeah drop some comments hopefully i hit get you guys to subscribe um hit that notification button like button and i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching